Hi, uh, Nipsey. Rap, rapper Nipsey Hussle grew up in the Crenshaw neighborhood of South L.A. He gave our Leah Uko a tour of his community, where he's now paying it forward. All my life, grinding all my life. Seven mixtapes, a chart-topping studio album, and a lot of... Nipsey Hussle's lifelong grind is paying off. Now the 33-year-old rapper is paying it forward in Crenshaw. My career started right here. This, this community put me on. Yes, sir. Nipsey started in this parking lot on the corner of Slauson and Crenshaw. He used to sell his unsigned mixtapes out of the trunk of his car. Now, you actually own half of this lot. Yeah, me and my, my family, um, Black Sam, Adam, uh, my pops, you know, the whole team. He also owns Marathon Clothing Store, which not only sells his label, but lets his visitors use an app to enhance their shopping experience. We playing a long game. We don't want the money to stop when we go. When we can't work no more, we wanted to outlive us. We wanted to be generational. Nipsey says businesses are only part of the change. For true change, he's starting with kids at 59th Street Elementary, an area plagued by violence. He hired a local artist to help spruce up this basketball court. And I see in the inside, it's got safety, respect, yeah. friendship, yeah. kindness, yeah. Yeah. Principles. community, you know, principles. Principles, yeah, to live by. And in attempt to attract entrepreneurs to the community, his latest business venture is Vector 90, a co-working space in the Crenshaw district. So for a young boy from Crenshaw who started with nothing, I got you, big dog. Let me sign that part of the yes, front. Yeah. Nipsey Hustle has given everything, hope, opportunity, and resources for his community to grind and succeed. Have you ever seen a whole thing? But you drove to the streets because you grew up on uh, Thanks to Leah Uko for that. Nipsey Hustle, welcome to Good Day LA. How you doing, bro? Good to have you here. Thank you. So it seems like you're doing about 50,000 things at once. How do, you, uh, how do you balance it all? I got a team. It's not just me. I got, I got a great team with me. So I get a lot of the credit. I'm in the front, but I got a, a ton of great people on the team with me. And speaking of collaborations, you got this new album, which is now like a major studio album for the first time with you. Yes, Some sir. of the collaborations include Kendrick Lamar, YG, uh, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, I don't know what we call him these days, whatever right, he's right, going right, by, CeeLo Green. Yeah. Uh, what, what can we expect from this, and how, how is it like working with all these biggest stars in, in hip-hop? Oh, man, um, we recorded this album over the course of like three or four years, so it was just about visiting some of the people I respect the most in music, getting opinions. Like, I went to Puff just for his opinion. He ended up getting on the record. Kendrick being one of the, you know, biggest, best artists out right now. Me and YG grew up in the music together, so it's really like family and people I'm a fan of. And, and being on a major album, does that major label, does that change things for you? Yeah, my whole career was indie, so this album was the first release um, under my new partnership with Atlantic Records and my company All Money In. So um, more video support, more marketing, more radio, just a bigger platform to do what we've been doing. And I know you're working with Puma also on your clothing as yeah. well. Yeah, me, me and Puma have a, um, a co-brand collection we're working on, and I'm also a brand ambassador for Puma. And that was also um, instrumental in the playground renovation on 59th Street Elementary. Well, let's talk a little bit more about that, this concept of paying it forward. Right. Um, what is your advice to other people out there? Because a lot of people in, in that community don't have a lot of material things. Right. What is your advice to them in terms of paying it forward, in terms of service, in terms of ways to give back um, to the people in your community? Um, I just think it's got to be in your heart. You, you know, you're going you're gonna to make moves off what's in your heart. And the way I came up, I talked about it in the piece, I was, uh, you know, supported by the community that we're making our moves in now. My mixtapes, my music, my early music was purchased hand-to-hand -hand by the same people in the area that might play on them courts or kids go to that school. So I just think it's a a form of just being genuine and being authentic to how I came up. And it's got, it's got to be such a tribute. Um, it's got to feel so good to be able to rise people up and, and to bring everybody together. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Just to see progress being made, you know? And hopefully your, your album is going to win awards for Best Hip Hop Album. And uh, we want to encourage everybody to get it. It's called Victory Lap. Yeah, critically Victory acclaimed. Lap. Um, and uh, best of luck to you, and thank you for all that you do in the community. It means a lot to everybody in SoCal. Thank you. Keep Appreciate it up. It. Yes, sir. Back with more uh, Good Day LA.